Nearly 10 years after Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 vanished, the country's government is pushing to revive search efforts. At a remembrance event for the missing passengers today, Malaysia's transport minister says the government is hoping to renew the search for the missing plane. This comes after a U.S. technology firm proposed a fresh search in the southern Indian Ocean where the plane is believed to have crashed. In 2017, Malaysia, China and Australia suspended their two-year underwater hunt that cost upwards of $175 million and ultimately turned up no results. On March 8, 2014, the passenger jet carrying 239 people traveling from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing vanished and remains one of the world's greatest aviation mysteries. They are ready and they have, uh, they have finalized the proposal and we are ready to discuss the proposal. No reluctance. As I've mentioned numerous times, as far as Malaysian is government, government is concerned, we are committed to that search and the search must go on. Well, of course it can be found. It, it's a matter of time. You know, there have been uh, ships lost that are found after hundreds of years. So we cannot say that this plane will never be found. There are actually plans underway now to map the whole of the world's oceans. You know, so when they map the ocean floor, at some point in time they will find. But whether it's in my lifetime, we cannot say if we wait for that option. The only option is to you know, have an active search based on whatever information that we get or whatever refinement that has been made to the existing information that is already there. The government's government and the government's government have been in the past year. 而且还有一个保障沟通渠道的畅通,只有大家有沟通有了解了,才不会产生误解,不会产生仇恨。